And interestingly, that number is also profound evidence for the existence of dark matter within the Milky Way. When we add up the mass of all the luminous objects within the orbit of the Sun, even including generous allowances for all the stars and clumps of gas that we can't directly observe, there still isn't nearly enough material to keep the Sun in a steady orbit. If there was no additional source of mass, the Sun's current speed should have assured that it would have been completely ejected from the Milky Way billions of years ago. But yet the Sun is still here still orbiting, chained to the Milky Way by some invisible form of matter. Dark matter that lends its weight to the galaxy and glues everything together. In addition to its orbit around the center, the Sun also lazily bobs up and down like a boy in a dark ocean, a byproduct of the unstable gravitational influences of all its neighbors. Over the course of millions of years, the Sun rises thousands of light years above the galactic plane before plunging through it reaching a minimum and starting the cycle anew. Currently, the Sun is plunging through a region known as the Local Bubble, a cavity blown out of the interstellar medium by a supernova detonation that went off millions of years ago. This bubble has a density less than one-tenth the average for the Milky Way, which is already low enough that it would register as a vacuum in a laboratory on Earth. 